Hello there, boys and girls. Just wanted to show you real quick how to uh, work with some of these online documents, especially when it's actually a Word doc or a PDF, and all you have is your Chromebook. So if you're over here on uh, the Schoology on the BLE, you scroll down here, and we're looking in the uh, mutations folder. You click on the rock pocket mouse, You'll notice it uh, has video and then complete the worksheet. And when you click on that, you get this PDF. Now you do have the option here, if you wanna be able to type stuff in, if it's a Word doc, you go open with Google Docs. However, some of you guys have noticed when you do that, it tends to move stuff around. So you open up with Google Docs and it's gonna load for a minute. But after it loads, you just wanna sort of go through here and make sure, see already, Looks like stuff is kind of weird. You want to just go through and make sure the pictures and stuff show up properly. Like over here, this is a, this is a mess. We we can't use that. Look how it's supposed to be. Look at look how it showed up on here. So opening with uh, Google Docs is not not always a great option. If it's a PDF, especially, I actually recommend using this one right here called Doc Hub. Now yours won't show up there. Instead, you hit this Connect More Apps right here. And then you type in doc hub, D-O-C-H-U-B, hit the old enter. Now you'll notice uh, when I click on mine, it already says connected, but for yours, it'll say connect. This is not a Chrome extension. You don't want that because uh, you have to ask permission to install it. You just want to connect this app to your Google Drive. So when you do that, then you'll have the option after you've connected it, you might have to refresh to open with Doc Hub. Now Doc Hub also has a tendency to move some things around, especially if it's opening a Word doc. So we, we don't really want that for, for Word docs so much. But this PDF, this looks pretty good. And if we're gonna say fill in this table, it gives you a text option, right? So you can put some, some words here, some words that would, be a good answer, right? We like that. Um, maybe there's part and you can sort of move it around if you're not happy with where it is. See, it gives you a little, like shows you where the text is gonna show up on the line. Let's say down here where we had to like circle or highlight something. It does give you this freehand draw. This tool is kind of buggy. Um, that actually seems to be behaving okay. Sometimes it gets kind of weird if you're trying to circle anything that's long. Control Z will undo as usual. I actually recommend anytime that you're supposed to circle something, use the highlight tool because you can, you know, I want to highlight this whole strand. It gives you a nice box that you can manipulate pretty easily. So if you need to circle something, then I would recommend actually using the highlight tool. If you need to draw something, then use the draw freehand tool. But that's how you can edit this document. Uh, it'll make a copy just for you, and then you can share it just like you normally would using, you know, all your, your normal Google type activities. Uh, may look a little weird with some of the, you can pick colors here. When you view it in just Google Drive or on Schoology, some of your colors may not save, but don't worry, when I view it using an actual PDF reader, uh, the colors will save. So that's how you can use Doc Hub to help you edit PDFs. If you're opening a Word doc, you can sometimes do it just with uh, open with Google Docs. Just again, scroll through it and make sure that everything's in the right place. You might have to like screenshot, add some pictures over. Uh, for things like this where you've got to draw or annotate, Doc Hub will help you. Or you could just do it on like a piece of notebook paper, take pictures, throw that in with your submission. That is all.